right, beautiful. I'm gonna hit the record button. Um, I'm gonna be uh, uh, give you a quick little introduction and then I'm gonna introduce you to uh, a long time uh, coworker and colleague of mine who, um, who I think everyone needs to uh, be aware of what they do and why they do it and ultimately how it can help you. So um, I wanna start off by just giving everyone a friendly reminder that um, everyone in the in the world is asking for, uh, of course, my numbers uh, rounding out the month of October. So if there is any, uh, if if there are any numbers that are remaining that need to be um, recorded for the month of October, please take a moment and update the spreadsheet. Um, I have uh, tried to simplify the weekly email a little bit. Um, I sent that out yesterday, and um, I also went into some. I spent a little bit more time kind of working through the um, PC resources list. So make sure that you um, know what I'm talking about, that you are checking back in on it periodically and seeing what's being added and how it's being kind of organized or reorganized. And I uh, just wanna remind everyone to bookmark a lot of these spreadsheets that we are um, uh, building for you. There's also a line in the email, um, which just requested of everyone to send me um, your income goal for 2022. And with that, I can uh, customize the systems um, spreadsheet, which we've been talking about for a couple of weeks and uh, make certain that you know exactly um, how to get to your goal in the year ahead and what you should be doing in the next month or two uh, to prep for that. So good morning, everybody. Glad uh, to see a couple new faces here. Brian, I, I gotta tell you, I, I love that picture. Um, that is a conversation starter for sure. Love that. <laughs> I'm going to have it printed on a shirt, square oh, yeah. around. It's much cooler as a Zoom profile, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I want to introduce you guys to uh, Andrew Domnauer. Andrew joined us about um, maybe about two months or so ago, and we have been including his um, kind of intro video in the, in the uh, weekly message for a long time. And uh, included in that also is, is his pricing sheet and a, a tab so that you can uh, kind of reach out to him and, and onboard or really just get familiar with the, uh, the processes and the systems that he uses ultimately to help you create more leverage in your business. So um, Andrew, I'm going to uh, just quickly introduce you and then I'm going to um, ask you to kind of give a, a broad overview of what you have built and what type of services you offer. And then I've, I've um, kind of teased a little bit uh, over the last week or so since we booked this, um, what your two most recent services are. Um, and one of them actually worked really nicely with what we talked about at yesterday's huddle. And awesome. um, I want to make sure that you are, uh, uh, you get a chance to tell us about how you can help us and, and of course how we can help you. So I met Andrew maybe, uh, maybe what, six or seven years ago, something like that. Oh, six years, yeah. <laughs> So um, Andrew is a, is a licensed agent. He was at KW in Roswell, of course, and, uh, and, and now he is back officially. Um, he was, a, in my eyes, as, the, as an ALC member and ultimately as team leader, it always looked like you were the chaos controller. And uh, so most of the rest of the big team was creating the chaos, and you were the one that kept everyone safe and organized and made sure nothing fell through the cracks, which by the way, is an incredibly important uh, <laughs> set of tasks. Um, so Tim uh, or uh, Andrew worked for a gentleman named Tim Hardiman, who uh, with Andrew's help and a, and a number of others, uh, built a hundred plus unit per year business. And um, Andrew was the brains behind it all, to be honest. Um, Tim, you're awesome. It wouldn't have happened anywhere close to that without Andrew and you know it, right? <laughs> um, so Andrew uh, built all the systems that kept a hundred plus per year uh, transaction system kind of humming, right? No deadlines were being missed. No paperwork was being neglected. Um, everything uh, was happening before it needed to happen. And um, Andrew and I uh, started talking a couple months ago. And um, ultimately, Andrew has started a contract to close business called the Piedmont Closing Company. And the mission, just from my opinion, but I'll let you share, of course, is all the things that we've been talking about um, that are administrative or are um, kind of paperwork wise or, uh, you know, kind of kind of all the a lot of the organizational stuff behind the scenes. 
um, that quite frankly, we probably don't enjoy that much. I mean, what I've found is that the person who really, really loves being a real estate agent typically really, really does not like being a real estate agent's administrative assistant or executive assistant. And so that's where Andrew and his, and his group come in to uh, support us from an administrative standpoint and to help us make sure that we are doing the most important work for a real estate agent to grow and move the business forward. So uh, I want everyone to welcome uh, welcome Andrew. Um, Andrew, tell us a little bit about how you came to uh, where you are today and just give us a little bit of background so, so people um, can just get a, a, a little insight as to how, how smart you really are. <laughs> well, thank you for the introduction, Bill. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, for everyone who I haven't met, it's nice to meet you. I'm Andrew Domnauer, you know, born and raised here in the Atlanta area. And um, yeah, as Bill mentioned, we met about six years ago when I got started um, at PW Roswell with Tim Hardman. I was the first person hired as executive assistant to his team. And yeah, he didn't have any kind of systems or um, procedures in place. So I was tasked with putting together all of our systems that we use, as well as recruiting people to the team to plug into those systems. And he was responsible for generating the leads. And as Bill mentioned, we had this long-term goal of creating a business that would close 100 transactions per year, um, which you know got started in 2015 and we continued to grow and finally did achieve that goal in, in 2019. So that was an awesome kind of team accomplishment that I got to be part of and kind of see what worked, what didn't work and kind of see the, the system ultimately succeed. And so, gosh, maybe about six months or so ago this year, Tim and I decided to part ways and I wasn't really sure what the next step in my career would be. Um, which actually connected with a, a woman named Roseanne. We go way back as well. She's kind of been a mentor to me. And she asked, you know, have you ever considered starting your own business? Um, and I said, absolutely not. You know, <laughs> not something I'd ever considered. I was very intimidated um, to do something like that. And she mentioned, you know, Bill's looking for someone to help his productivity coaching group with their contracts to close. And um, I thought, you know what, I know Bill, he's got a great reputation. And how often do you get a chance to maybe start your own business with kind of a, a set of leads and someone that believes in you? So um, ultimately decided to, to go for it and kind of spent a couple months here building up, um, again, a system that will process um, a high volume of transactions that will provide, you know, excellent service to you and your clients at an efficient um, kind of manner here. So kind of recreating what I did um, for another agent, but just kind of for myself and yeah, as Bill mentioned, I named it Piedmont Closing Company. I live here in Midtown, I'm looking out over, I can see downtown Atlanta and my Christmas tree over there in the background. It's a bit early, but I'm, I'm ready for it, you know? Um, yeah, no, right it, this is a man. Look, how, how is he going to treat your real estate files if the man's already got his Christmas tree up? I'm ready. I'm planning. I'm preparing. We, we put ours up two weekends ago. Don't worry about it. So I will ahead. start sending you all the admin work then. <laughs> Yeah, we're not the only ones, but um, yeah, I live right by Piedmont Park and I love it there. So that's kind of how I came up with the name. And yeah, if you're looking for something good to do here in the, in the fall, it's a great time to go check out Piedmont Park. So um, that's just a, a bit about me. And um, today I was going to maybe jump into kind of a, do a bit brief recap of, kind of what I offer and jump into some of my new services and go over a bit more about what I've been been working on here for you guys. So I guess before I jump into that, Bill, was there anything else that you want me to touch on? Uh, not right now. We let's uh, let's go with your plan, and I'm sure there'll be some some uh, some questions. Let's um, uh, if you have a question, just pop it in the in the chat, and then I'll um, I'll bring it up as soon as uh, we we find the appropriate point. So if you have any questions about what he does, pop it in the chat. Do you want me to? Um, do you have anything that you want to screen share? Or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. I was about to jump in and share my screen. Right, you, you should have permission. Go ahead. Yeah. Let's see here. Share my screen. Share that one. All right. And probably minimize that. Can everyone see my screen all right? Yep. Perfect. So here's my current kind of services and pricing. Um, it looks very similar if you were in the, the last meeting. Um, however, I have made a few, you know, adjustments to it as I've kind of reacclimated myself with the Keller Williams closing procedures, especially with command um, that I picked up on fairly quickly. I know some agents have opinions about it, but I think it's actually been pretty user friendly. So I'm happy about that. And yeah, again, the, the red prices here is what my normal price is. Um, we've struck that through. And then the price here in black is the price that you guys get the discounted 
um, amount for being a part of Bill's productivity coaching. Um, so real quick, as far as like listing packages go, I offer three. Um, entry level will pretty much just get it active on the market for you. Um, this is good for, you know, if you're just trying to get something on the market quickly, or um, if you have a, a lease listing, I'm happy to go ahead and take that, take care of that for you. Um, the basic package offers everything that the entry level does up to, let's see here, I can highlight it, offers the same as entry level and these additional services of setting up showing time, syncing your lockbox, handling any price changes and submitting these forms here. And I'll also do an initial contract compliance review. I'll just send you a you know quick email of, hey, I notice we're missing you know an initial on this page, we're missing this disclosure. Um, and that's kind of about where I'll get you to as far as compliance goes. And then with full service, it's my most popular package. I believe it's the one that gives you the most value. Um, I offer again, everything that's included in the basic service, um, plus all of these additional items down here. So I'll pretty much take it as much as I can for you from contracts to close. I'll handle all your email communications, your follow-ups. Um, in addition to that initial contract compliance review that I mentioned, um, I'll send that to you. And then at the end, I'll say with your permission, um, you know, I will obtain these missing documents or initials. I won't ever send anything out um, kind of without your acknowledgement, just because I um, want to make sure that everyone's comfortable and on the same page with that. Also, I know some agents are very, you know, controlling about that. And I, I totally get it. And I want to be respectful of you guys. So um, that's kind of a very brief overview of what the listing side looks like. Hang on one second. I got it. Two questions. Um, I just to triple check to make sure that we are reviewing the same PDF with the same commentary. Can you um, just whenever whenever we're done today, just save a copy and, and send it to me, and I'll distribute that. Um, so that'll be Andrew's price sheet. And then, um, can you help us understand a little bit about timing? Like, if we wanted a a property listed on a certain day, when do we need that material to you? What's turn time for like hey, Andrew? Change the price from you know two fifty to two forty. Like. Can you give us an understanding of what to expect there? Sure. Yeah. Great question. So as far as like a price change, that's something that I can handle. You know, it, it'll take me less than five minutes to do. If you just send me an email, I'll send me a text. Um, I can knock that out pretty quick. As far as something about um, a listing, let's say you go on a listing appointment and you sign a listing agreement and they're ready to go active on the market. I'll probably need um, about maybe 48, about so two business days, ideally especially if it's our first time working together, want to make sure that I have access to all of your relevant accounts, your MLS account, your showing time, um, kind of everything that I need, also command. Um, and also, I mean, I don't know if you've ever done listing entry before, but <laughs> it can be pretty time consuming. And I want to make sure that when I've completed your listing entry that I'm able to let you know in advance, you can ideally take a look at it when it's in Remind. That's where I do the listing entry. So it'll populate to FMLS and Georgia MLS. Um, we can get it activated that way. So okay. does that come what about, up? What about weekends? Sure. So uh, my business hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So, you know, if you have anything that comes up over the weekend, you know, feel free to send me a text or send it to me via email and I'll respond to it first thing Monday morning at 9 a.m. Okay. So if we, if let's say like Saturday morning, we want to do a price change, we just deal with it on our own, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, you'll have to probably upload it there or just let me know and I can take care of that for you first thing Monday morning. Um, I know for me, I just, you know, I try to keep a schedule. I have that administrative personality. I love, you know, kind of consistency and trying to kind of uh, manage my, my work hours and kind of personal time that way. If I was going to be available, you know, seven days a week. I'd probably just be a real estate agent. So <laughs> that was a test, Andrew. You passed. You 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 have boundaries for your business, and I love that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you gotta gotta take care of yourself, and that's something I love about KW Culture. Is you know, taking care of living the dream and your personal life is important, and work is meant to kind of support that. So right, and it's also you know, it encourages people to 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 prepare. Right. If I know I got something coming at this time then how can I make life easier for me and for my team members? Um, and by the way, you should absolutely be thinking of Andrew potentially as a team member. Um, how can I, how can I make it easier for everyone involved? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I, you know, I do the same thing too. We've got holidays coming up. I'm doing a bit of traveling here. So in the next few weeks, I'll definitely be doing my best to get ahead and proactively reach out to the people I'm currently working with, make sure that they're all taken care of as much as possible kind of before, before we take that break. So 
Um, was there anything else you wanted me to touch on here on the, the listing side? Not yet, or you can keep going. Okay, okay, perfect. Um, so here is kind of some of the marketing that I offer. Um, I offer, you know, if you have any other projects that you're wanting me to work on, please feel free to reach out. I think in the past few months, I've only had one or two agents reach out asking for marketing. And I'll be honest, at the time, I wasn't quite prepared for that. I was really focusing on refining my kind of contracts to close systems and making sure that those are up to par with where I'd like to be for services that I'm offering to you guys. So as I've kind of been exploring marketing, I actually ended up connecting with a virtual assistant who's going to work with me on a project basis. Um, same thing as you guys, like it's something that, you know, I can do, I can do marketing, but for me, I'm much better with like a checklist and just concrete tasks. Like I get hung up on marketing. Like if I'm putting together a flyer, I'm like, uh, the, you know, the font could be a bit bigger or it could be in the middle or it could go over here. I can't, you know, I get hung up on those details and it takes me a long time. So I found this virtual assistant. She loves it. She's great at it. Um, so I've partnered up with her. So if there's any, you know, marketing projects that you need help with that aren't listed on here, please reach out and uh, we'll be happy to help you help you work on those. I just a quick note on that. So again, this is what business owners do is they, they understand where their strengths are. They understand, acknowledge where their strengths are not. And they bring people in because Andrew's the point person. Somebody says, Hey, I need a flyer. Andrew says, well, it's not something I particularly enjoy doing. So let me see, because people are going to ask me for that and I might get other opportunities because I take care of that problem for them that I need, I need to bring somebody into my world that can handle that stuff. So, um, since then, Andrew, if, um, we need, we probably need to speak offline to, to see there's probably a lot of other tasks that are not on these, on this list that would be super attractive to our group, um, that could be handled, um, you know, by, by your team, even though it's might not be you specifically. Yeah, no, I'd love to connect and kind of see what, what some of the current needs are and kind of see how we can, can help fill those needs. So definitely. Beautiful. By the way, that means if you, um, have some suggestions, uh, shout them out. Okay. Not right now. Send me a message. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing here, wrapping up, it's the, the buyer package. I only offer one package for buyers. It's the full service package. That's because with sellers, um, you know, there's a lot more legwork up front, just getting the property on the market. Um, so for buyers, I just offer the one full service kind of contracts to close. I'll handle all your email communications. It's very similar to the kind of listing full service package. Um, just kind of on the on the buyer side. So I have again gone through and like revised it just a little bit. I think the main difference from last time we met is I removed um, kind of drafting your amendment to address concerns from this section. Um, what I noticed is I was trained by that last agent that I worked for how to draft amendment to address concerns for him. So I was drafting them for the agents I was working for and they were getting it and they were like, wow, this is really aggressive. Um, and that's because the agent I worked for before was very aggressive. So um, I've removed that and also kind of just learned that, you know what, it's probably best for me not to be involved in like verbiage when it comes to like amendments and things, just from a liability standpoint, I would hate for there to be a dispute during a transaction um, because of some phrasing that maybe I put in. So I try to leave that, those kind of tasks to you guys. But if you have an amendment or something you want drafted, you can absolutely send me the verbiage for it that I can copy and paste and put into an amendment for you. So that's kind of one modification that I've had to, to this specific package. Um, but that's kind of a quick recap of the, the current services. And I was gonna jump into the, the new services here. Um, before I do that, Bill, was there anything else you wanted me to clarify on these or? Um, let's, uh, no, no. I do have some questions about the amendment to address concerns. We could probably talk about that offline. Um, okay. You know, I think it's uh, it, it, the way you responded to that. It kind of it, it makes me want to point out one thing that's super, super important, particularly about what you're about to share, which is okay. there is there's a difference between the creation of the document mm -hmm. and the sending it out for the world to see, right? Yeah. So a lot of what what Andrew would be doing is the essentially the um, the, the the rough draft, if you will, right? And then you would pull it up and say, okay, I'm going to, you know, make that two sentences or I'm going to put an extra space there. I need to change that number or whatever it may be. Um, Andrew's not like writing it and sending it out. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to give you like 90% of the work done, 
right? As a licensed real estate agent who is protecting our specific client at that moment, your job is to make sure that it reads and uh, appropriately for you at that time, right? So, um, you know, I think you, you were probably writing a lot of those amendments back in a, more of what we would call a buyer's market, right? That's like, please take down the entire house and put it back up. Now right. it's like uh, writing the amendment to address concerns is going to be pretty simple. It's like, thank you so much for allowing me to buy this home. I have no further requests. And right. I, I have I have something to add too. In working with Andrew, it's building a relationship. And so he can't read our minds right from the get-go. So, and we each have our specific ways of working, our specific things we like to do. So he's he, we have to we have to work with Andrew in in a manner that allows us to grow as a team um, so that so that he can better anticipate the the needs of a certain agent, right? And that's that's a that's a challenging role because we're all so different. So my hats off to you, Andrew. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Other than that, uh, keep going. Sure. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll reserve some questions at the end if need be. Okay. Perfect. So yeah. Lastly, down here on the bottom are my my new services that I'm offering that um, kind of are specifically for buyers. And down here is my contact information. Um, if you guys don't have that already, please, you know, feel free to write down or screenshot this um, so you can have that on file. Um, but the two new services that I'm offering is the offer drafting service and showing itinerary services. So starting at offer drafting, um, how that would work is, you know, obviously here I've listed out, I'll draft your contract package. I'll check to make sure you have a brokerage agreement on file, a disclosure of marketing services, um, and then I'll handle your purchase and sale, the financing of the cash exhibit and then any remaining exhibits. And I'll also check the listing on FMLS and RDOCs and see if there's any you know, seller's property disclosure, community association disclosure, or lead-based paint on file there um, that we can include in that, in that offer package. I can take care of that for you in Remind or .loop. I think maybe even DocuSign, if that's possible, I, I can handle just about any of the, any of the platforms. Um, so how that would work is you would you know, maybe give me a call or send a text just saying, hey, I've got a buyer, you know, Bill Linkwald wants to buy this listing at 123 Main Street. You know, he's going to do full price, um, you know, kind of just list out as much information as you can, you know, what type of loan they're going to get. And then I'll go on ahead and say, thanks. I'll go ahead and get started on that for you. And I'll try to give you a, a timeline of when I can have that turned around. Typically, if something like this comes in, um, it's time sensitive. So I'll maybe try to prioritize that depending on what I'm working on that day. So I'll get that turned around here for you pretty quick. Um, but I'll draft it. Um, with as much information as I can. And then if there's any information that's missing that we didn't go over, such as like earnest money or due diligence or contingency dates, I'll go ahead and pre-fill in just the industry standard. So that way you're not getting a blank contract package. So like for due diligence, I would just put in, you know, seven days, cause that's pretty standard. Earnest money, I'd put in 1% due within three days of binding agreement date. You know, financing and appraisal contingencies are generally 21 days, although I've noticed recently it seems like they're more like 14 days just because it's so competitive. Um, but I'll go ahead and fill that in so you don't have a blank contract. And then once it's ready, I'll say, I'll send a text that just says, hey, Bill, your offer is ready in dot loop. Um, here's the changes that I made. You know, I input the due diligence date as this, or, you know, hey, you put in a closing date that's actually on a Saturday. So I just pushed it back to Friday for you since closing attorneys tend to be closed on the weekend. Um, so that's kind of what, what that service looks like. Um, so I won't actually, again, send it out um, on your behalf just because like Bill was saying, um, you know, you guys are the ones that ultimately have like a brokerage agreement with these buyers or sellers. Um, so I'm really, I try not to like authorize myself to get in the way of that um, representation, um, but I am here to assist you kind of put, putting that together. And that service I do offer for $50. And then um, I'll go over the showing itinerary service here real quick as well. So for that, I'll charge $10 per showing. And um, that's if I have at least probably one business day in advance. And if it's the same business day, I mean, if you're asking for something that's like within the next like few hours, I'll probably charge a rush fee of $15 per showing. But I mean, if you get to me at 9 a.m. and you're asking for showings that are being scheduled in the evening, I can probably accommodate $10 per showing. Um, but just as a rule of thumb, if you know the earlier I can get to it, the better. I don't know if you've ever put together a showing itinerary, but it really is just like piecing together a puzzle, especially in this market. You know, I'm sure buyers are sending you 10 listings they want to look at, and then you 
call the listing agents and it's already under contract or they've gone to highest and best or you know the seller's got specific times where you can show it so it really does take a lot of time to piece together and that's kind of how i came up with that pricing um, but with that service i will assemble your showing um, your showing itinerary or the showing cart in showing time I'll contact the listing agents via phone call and text message to get confirmation on availability and any special showing instructions. And then at the end, I'll share the showing itinerary with you via email. I'm not sure where that line came from. That's exciting. <laughs> but, I think um, that was me. I'm sorry. I was yeah. trying to, I don't know what I did. Sorry that Andrew. <laughs> Hi, thank you for all of your help that you've done for me. I appreciate it. It's been great. Oh, you're welcome, Corey. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, Corey. I'm going to ask for testimonials here in just a second. Oh, okay. Yeah, although this is affecting my testimonial. <laughs> but um, yeah, so what I'll do once I get everything confirmed for you is I will send you a showing itinerary that has, you know, the, the timing of where, you know, you're going to be with the full address. So when you're out showing houses, you can just pull up your email and click on the address and it'll pop up on your phone. And that's something too that you'll be able to forward on to the buyer so they can have it as well. Although the email that I sent to you, I'll include, as I mentioned up here, like any special showing instructions as far as like lockbox codes or gate codes um, or kind of what to do. Yeah, there's like security if you're showing um, condos and high rises. So that's obviously information that we can't share with buyers, um, but you can obviously just easily delete that and send that out to them. And so I think that these are pretty big value adds to you guys, especially for like a showing itinerary. If you have an out of town buyer coming in who wants to see like 20 or 30 showings, I've done that. Um, you know, that, that takes a, a lot of time and it's really difficult to time those out. And I've not to, you know, brag at all, but uh, I think I'm pretty good at timing them out after everything I've, I've done here in the past few years. So would love to help you with that. And um, actually with the offer drafting service as well, I think that's a big value add, especially with the market now with all these highest and bests um, kind of deadlines. So the other day I had an agent who was out showing some properties and she was like, oh my gosh, there's, you know, my buyers love this house, but there's a highest and best deadline at 1 p.m. You know, can you put this together and get it sent in for me in time? And, you know, absolutely, I'll drop what I'm doing and um, we'll help you get that put together while you're out still, you know, showing other properties so we can help you meet those deadlines as well. So that's a bit of my, my new services. Bill, did you want to touch on anything in here kind of before moving on? You know, maybe this is a good spot to just, just to talk about kind of um, the value of people's time. Sure. Right. So you, you had an interesting comment a minute ago that's like, you know, if I was willing to work all day, every day, I th I'd just probably be a real estate agent. Right. And I, and I think there's a, um, when, if you were to do the math uh, for, let's say, just a high producing real estate agent, they're, they're, I don't like to use the word worth, but their time is worth you know, three to $400 an hour, right? And it's not that Andrew's time is worth less, it's that he wants to do different stuff during his time, right? And therefore, if your mission is to create a big business that services and helps a lot of families, then the more, you know, $25, $30 an hour work you do, the less $300 an hour work you will be able to do, right? And so I don't want you to think of, in, in many ways, I'd like for you to think of this um, as a, uh, as, as a, kind of almost like a test to see what does it feel like to have someone else help me build my business, right? And do I have the discipline to kind of hand off one set of tasks and then do the, bet, do the stuff that is the best use of my time with this newfound time? And so it's not like, it's never like, well, when I hit this level, then I'll get, uh, you know, help. It's, I might get the help so that I can go to the next level, right? So I just really want you guys to think about um, uh, the, the great part about this that you'll probably touch on this in a second is this is considered a cost of sale, right? You only pay Andrew when there's a closing, just like productivity coaching fee, right? And therefore, I think, it's a, I think it is well worth, you know, even if we wanted to call it an experiment, to let's see how our business can employ someone else so we can see how it feels 
and how it looks and how the customer feels when they receive this type of communication. Does it not add validity to your business when as soon as you get done doing one of your big tasks, let's say getting somebody under contract, all of a sudden, you know, the Piedmont closing company is coming in and they're handling a bunch of stuff on behalf of Candace while Candace is, you know, servicing the next family. Does that make sense? So there's a lot of kind of kind of hidden value in there that I think is worth discussing. Definitely. And, and one thing that you, you mentioned here that I did want to discuss is for yeah, billing. Um, so for these other, you know, contract packages for the buyer full service package, listing, full service, and basic. Yeah, I do not send out an invoice until we reach a closing um, since, you know, I am helping you all the way through. Um, however, for like entry level, when we do a listing entry, um, the marketing services, and then these two new additional services, um, the offer drafting and showing itinerary service, um, I will generate an invoice um, kind of once that work is complete and you're happy with it. Um, except for, I guess like for example, with offer drafting service, um, I'll put everything together. I'll send you a text that says, hey, it's ready. I made these you know, adjustments or have these questions that I went ahead and filled in for you. Um, you know, thank you. I'll go ahead and generate the invoice at that point um, for that service. And then obviously you don't have to pay for it until you're happy, until you've had a chance to look at the contract package and make sure that I did a good job. Um, if you're not happy with it and need a lot of revisions, I can jump in and do that. You might have to obviously, you know, adjust one or two things that I might've had to fill in on your behalf. But um, again, like Bill mentioned, I should get you at least 90% of the way there, but um, did just want to clarify that that's when I do the invoicing for, for these services. Right. And um, you are able to pay, uh, can, can somebody pay you on the green sheet or not on the green sheet on the DA, or do you pay, do you take payment outside or what, what's the most, what's the best way to, for you to handle it? Yeah. So I bill through QuickBooks. Um, and the reason that I do it that way instead of doing, yeah, like on a DA at closing is because otherwise I'd be like waiting for checks to come to me in the mail. And I live in a high rise. I'm on the 19th floor. So my mailbox is on the first floor and I try to go down there maybe like once a week or as, as little as possible just because, or just as one conveniently, you know, walking through the lobby, um, just because it's a bit of hassle to get down there. So I think it's a bit easier for everyone to just kind of send a link through QuickBooks to your inbox. Okay. And that also makes it pretty simple for, um, uh, for what do you call it for, um, uh, accounting and taxes and that kind of stuff. Cause you'll probably send a, like a year end bill that says, Hey, in 2021, uh, my organization charged you, you know, $2,200 for contract to close services. And then you just hand that to your accountant and, and you can deduct that. Um, Heather, what was your question? Do you have actual closing services too, as in the in-house closing attorney or contract? Um, I'm not positive I understand your question. Um, Andrew, uh, I mean, he's certainly going to be working with the closing attorney that is, you know, mentioned in the in the contract um, and interactions back and forth with them for tasks that need to be performed. Am I answering your question properly? Sorry, it took me a second to get to my microphone. Um, yeah, I just didn't, when when we say, when we he said go through closing, I just wanted to confirm like I had missed something because I didn't know if you had like two branches where you're doing contract to close and also have an attorney. Sure. On staff. Yeah, here um, I went ahead and highlighted, for example, on the, the buyer package, I'll handle all your email communications with the client, lender, closing attorney, and co-broker through closing. Kind of here are some of the email communications um, that I'll handle as well as, you know, I'm not afraid to pick up the phone and, and call these guys and call the closing attorney and say, hey, you know, I sent you an email yesterday. Not sure if you had a chance to see it, but just looking for an update, you know, on the title search or kind of whatever's going on at, at the time. So does that kind of answer your question? Yep. Yeah, that clarifies it for me. You don't, it's, it's one operation not of service. Yes. Andrew, with okay. your... With, with your um, buyer package, can you, or your offer package, I should say, can you do a cover sheet that outlines the highlights of the contract, which is very helpful for agents that are receiving multiple bids just to see, you know, this is the price, closing date terms, that kind of thing. Is that something you could add to that? Sure. So you're saying like, I've, I've seen before when agents have like a listing that they think they're going to get multiple offers on and they'll put kind of like offer guidelines. Is that, is that what you're asking for? 
Yeah, or but on the buyer side, so so when you submit an offer, it's it's a you actually submit the offer, but the cover page says purchase. Here are the highlights: purchase price, closing date, um, closing cost requested, due diligence date, financing appraisal. Though just those those four things, so they don't have to look through the exhibits and the contract. It helps tremendously when. It, it, it helps tremendously for an agent who's receiving multiple offers. And as a buyer, it, it helps you to be somebody who looks easy to work with. Sure. Yeah, that's definitely something I can put together here. Yeah, pretty quickly as well. You're saying just like a, a PDF cover sheet of just yeah. Yeah, the highlights of all the contingencies. And exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's almost, it's essentially, I think the same thing you were mentioning earlier. Yes. Although you, you kind of referenced it as like the, the body of the email, like here are the highlights from the offer, offer price this and contract uh, closing costs um, request this and th these kind of things just in the body of the email it may be per person somebody wants it there somebody wants a pdf separate maybe you can be flexible in that what, one of the things i was going to say in, in conjunction with what you were just talking about candace is um and, and i'm sure this is part of your system but some type of like um sheet that we could be filling out that could help you uh create the offer Right. So yes. it's almost like the same sheet, right? It's a blank sheet of paper that says, you know, offer date, expiration time, who's holding mm -hmm. the earnest money, how much is the earnest money, right? And then that document essentially is already created. Yep. Excellent. And a Google form would be the best, easiest. So it's not like a piece of paper. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. I'm definitely happy to put that together. Um, I guess the reason why I hadn't put that before is I, I know what, before when I was with, the agent I worked for, um, when I would have, we sometimes would try to leverage out some tasks if even I was a bit overwhelmed at the time um, to other kind of contracts to close services. And I remember one time we were doing like listing entry and like they wanted me to fill out the whole like FMLS entry form, which I was like, gosh, the amount of time that I took filling this out, like I might as well do a listing entry myself. Um, but yeah, I mean, if that's something that we think would be helpful, I can certainly put together a, a Google form um, that might be good, but also just while we're kind of on the subject of, of that, I am working on putting together a website here that should be ready by the end of the month for you guys. Um, so this service and pricing sheet will kind of go away because it'll all be listed on the website. You'll be able to place orders through that, which should make this a little bit more accessible for you. Um, in the meantime, though, yeah, if you want to call or text this number down here on the bottom of the screen, whenever you have a listing or buyer that you want me to work with, um, and then, yeah, or you can send it to this email address as well. It's kind of the way I've been doing it in the meantime. Right. So if somebody wants to initiate contact with you and just kind of, you know, kind of get a better, maybe they've never worked with somebody like yourself before and they, they kind of don't know how to best help you and you might not know how to best help them. Like at what, what does that look like? Can, do I just, you know, text you and say, Hey, Andrew, you know, I'm in the Roswell productivity coaching program. Can we chat for a couple of minutes? So I really understand how this can work. Yeah, definitely. Whatever you're most comfortable with. I know, you know, people my generation seem to be a bit more comfortable with just sending a text. Um, I'm not offended at all by, you know, phone calls. You can pick me, pick up the phone and call me at any time. If I don't answer, I set a kind of goal for myself. If I miss a call to return the call within about five to 10 minutes. So um, very responsive to yeah, phone, text or, or email. I'm just happy to be considered in the same generation as you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, Corey, can you share, I know, uh, we'll start with Corey, and if anyone else has, has worked with Andrew, um, I certainly want to give them, uh, uh, them a minute to express kind of their experience so far. Corey, what what, what has it done for you? Um, well, like you why, said. Well, let me ask a different question. Why why hire Andrew? Uh, because I it frees up my time and energy and allows for me to be creative and, you know, do the things that... I like to do that I want to do and that I'm good at. Um, so, you know, just like what he's doing, he's doing what he likes to do, what he's good at and what he wants to do. So, um, you know, I think it's, it's good when we realize things about ourselves, uh, about our abilities and talents, and we can, um, you know, choose to, to focus on the, the area that we want to, um, to go in the direction we want to go in. And, you know, are there things that, we all have, is there an echo? Are you guys hearing an echo? No. Okay. Maybe it's just me. Um, I think if, you know, we realize the things that we want to do. Oh, it's my other phone. I'm on my, my phone too. One second. Okay. Um, it just, 
helps us. It only helps us all. So uh, when I worked with Andrew, he was very good um, at kind of wrangling me, you know, because he'd be like, hey, I need this. Do you have it yet? And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Let me send it to you Um, because I'm, you know, I'm focused on the, the next thing, if, you know, it, it just, it's so comforting to know somebody else has got this, you know? Yep. Absolutely. Andrew specifically, um, w- what have you thought about his organization, his professionalism, the way he communicates with clients, um, in- anything you want to share there? Um, over the top, just per- perfectly, um, professional, you know, a- very appropriate and, um, just everything that, that we need. So, and I'm, I'm, what I'm actually, I, I'm glad to hear about your marketing, uh, you know, the additional marketing stuff, um, because I'm, I'm talking with uh, a couple people and, you know, just trying to figure out how I can have somebody else add to uh, my marketing efforts. So, you know, um, we can talk further about that. Yeah, much, much needed. That, that I'm really excited to hear more about that. Um, mm-hmm. The hardest part of that is finding the right person to do it. Yes, awesome. absolutely. So thank you so much, Andrew. Really, really appreciate all of your help. Thank uh, you. I'm working with you. I look forward to, to working together again soon. Yeah, yeah I'm never, gonna have something no more paperwork for her. Yeah. <laughs> We're done with that. Yeah. Um, okay, real uh, real quickly, I want to uh, spend a minute at the end just going through the the one things for the day. But um, has anyone else uh, worked with Andrew and wants to share uh, their experience or have any specific questions that he can address? Okay, um, Andrew, follow up if you would with um, your your pricing sheet so we make sure we have the most updated version. Um, and I will make sure that all your contact, I've already shared all your contact information on our WhatsApp chat. Um, any, any thoughts? Uh, I feel like I just cut you off. What would you like to say? (laughs) No, no, you're totally fine. Um, one last thing that I did want to touch on is, you know, I've really enjoyed working, um, kind of with you guys working with new agents. I was a bit worried, you know, I'd only worked with one agent for six years. So I was nervous working with, with other people, but I really enjoyed it. So, so thank you everyone for, for reaching out and, um, working with some actually particularly just agents who are new to real estate has reminded me of what it was like getting started and kind of being thrown in the fire and um, kind of, I remember reading a lot of KW books, you know, by Gary Keller, like R- Millionaire Real Estate Agent. I think I read that book like five times, um, but there's a lot of resources for sales, and like kind of the sales side of real estate, but I don't remember getting a lot of kind of support or resources for kind of the administrative side of a transaction. So I didn't really know what a contract or transaction looked like from kind of contracts to close. And that kind of inspired me to here to put together this here today. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. I just put together a little booklet here on Amazon. Um, it's called Behind the Real Estate Transaction by me. It's a quick, you know, 28 page book. Um, that's just a very general overview of what a typical real estate transaction looks like from start to finish. Um, I mean, it's, it's short, it's real estate administration. So it's not like a Fifty Shades of Grey or anything super exciting like that. It's very informative, um, but I thought it might be able to help you guys kind of connect the dots on, you know, what happens once you get a binding contract. You know, what's due diligence? What's happening during that? What's the lender doing? What's the closing attorney doing? Um, and then at the end as well, I included here. I'll kind of show you, but I included kind of all of my checklists that I use for pre-listing through closing, all of my email templates. Um, just so you guys can kind of get a better idea of what I'm working on. And also when you're at a point in your business where you're maybe ready to bring on an administrator, um, this is the book that I wish was handed to me on my first day. (laughs) Um, Because I remember Tim asking like for me to come up with checklists and email templates. And I was like, I've never even seen a purchase and sale. So uh, again, that's, you know, on Amazon, it's behind the real estate transaction. And I can send a, a link to that. Um, in the email as well after this call. So hopefully hopefully you guys find that helpful. Awesome. Um, thank you so much, Andrew. This has been recorded. We will share this with everyone. And um, I just appreciate you uh, working for our group. And uh, I'm just so excited to, to watch your business grow. And my mission is to, to be a, a large part of that. So I appreciate you also just kind of taking note of what we're experiencing from a from an agent standpoint, and um, you know, kind of being creative and and making sure that we provide, um, you know, we're helping people deal with the market of the moment, right? So I just want to 
uh, publicly thank you for that. Uh, we're just going to do a little round robin around the room. You're welcome to stay on if you want and hear what all these people are going to do today. Um, or no one will be offended if you if you take off. But uh, again, appreciate you being here. Thank you. I'll, I'll hang out. I'll see what you guys are working on. All right. So we're going to go around the room real, real quick. What is your one thing for today? What is the task in your world that has got to get done today? Heather Mueller, you can go first. I want to um, revise. You to. I will. I will work on revising that door hanger. Beautiful. I'll give you some more thoughts on that. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Ryan. I've got a list of calls to make. Okay. How many people are we going to speak to today? Well, that'll depend on who answers, but the plan is 15. Beautiful. All right, Donna Patrick. Um, for me, it's to follow up with Robin on the recruits that I've sent her to see what the outcome is. Great, great. Um, make sure you're keeping a spreadsheet of all that stuff. It, it might not seem like a lot that you're tracking right now, but it, it's about to become a lot. So make sure you got a system for that. Lorinda. All right, we're gonna come back to you, Lorinda. Irina, what are you up to today? Uh, I'm going to door knocking today. All right, awesome. How many doors are you going to knock? Um, I don't know yet, but I'm planning to go like at least for two hours, maybe even longer. Okay, I always recommend having a number in mind because if you if you go door knocking and it gets hot, then you're like, okay, I'm done with door knocking. Or if it gets cold, or if it's raining, or somebody's rude to you, or something like that, you might just stop. Right. So have have something in mind that you are that you are after. I'm going to add four people to my database. I'm going to speak to 10 people. I'm going to knock 100 doors. And that way you are you're focused on getting to that that end piece. So great. Great job, uh, Tracy. Good morning. Um, my goal is to speak with um, 20 people today. Excellent. Excellent. Corey. I will come back to you, Corey. Ebony. I'm going to reach out to some business owners that I know to see how we can collaborate for the holidays to trade services. Love that. Uh, Candace. I'm coaching with 10 amazing productivity coaching clients today and researching developers. Love it. Oh, one thing is coaching. Sorry. One thing is coaching. All right. Yep. Stacy. Um, I'm getting ready to finish up 32 letters to drop in the mail this morning. And then I've got some personal stuff I got to do till I meet Marinelli at three. Beautiful. Remember yesterday, it's okay. If you're one thing's personal, don't be bashful. It's God family business, right? Okay. Who did we miss? Jenny. I'm going to contact my last 20 of my 100 contacts today. Woo All right. All right. I love that. Make sure you celebrate on the bold page now. Andrew, what's your one thing today, sir? Oh, wait, there we go. Sorry, I was unmuting myself. Oh, gosh, my one thing. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> this was actually, this was my one thing. This is the most important thing I could do is kind of connect with you guys and um, kind of see how we can keep helping each other. Oh, uh, should I, should we allow that? Okay. Yes. I, I think I guess, so. I mean, I'm going to I the we'll allow allow that. later today. If that's... Hey, his lead gen <laughs> is done for the day. <laughs> exactly. Hey, go enjoy your afternoon. Good job. Um, Donna. Donna, okay. Uh, you already did me, Bill. I said I was following up with Robin today on the recruits I sent oh, my, my you. And you want me okay. to create a spreadsheet. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. I think we've talked to everyone then. Um, I appreciate everyone being here today. And, Bill, uh, Bill, what's your one thing? I was wondering if it, I was kind of stalling to see if anyone was going to ask me. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, my one thing today is I am going to set four appointments today. Fantastic. I am not leaving this chair until it happens. I don't give a damn how long I'm here. It is happening today. Okay. Thank you for asking, and I appreciate the opportunity to be held accountable to you guys. 
Um, uh, don't forget, it is uh, Erin's birthday shower today, or not birthday shower, sorry, her baby shower today. And um, so I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing a lot of you guys in person and have a wonderful day. Thanks, Andrew. Is she having a boy or a girl or do we know? She's having a girl.